BFG with Sophie now sitting on the palm of his hand, stood nearby watching the operation <clears throat> to give the soldiers their due. Their, they were extremely courageous. courageous. There were six well trained, efficient men working on each giant and Within 10 minutes, eight out of the nine eight giants had been dressed up like chickens and were still snoring content, contentedly, contentedly. The ninth, who happened to be the flesh lump eater, was causing trouble for the soldiers because he was lying with his right arm trapped underneath his enormous body. It was impossible to tie to tie his wrists and arms together without first getting that arm out of underneath him. Very, very cautiously, the six soldiers who were working on the flesh alarm beater began to pull out the huge arm trying to release it the flum, flesh alarm beater opened his tiny piggy black eyes which of you full pister full is wiggling my arm he bellowed is that you you rot some man hugger suddenly he saw the soldiers in a flash he was sitting uh, he looked around him. He saw more soldiers with a roar. He leapt to his feet. The soldiers, petrified with with fear, froze where they were. They had no weapons with them. The head of the army put his gym into reverse. Human beings, the flesh, flesh lump eater yelled. What is our country? He made a grab at the soldier and swept him up in his hand. I was having a early burst today, he shouted, holding the poor squirming soldier at arm's length and roaring with laughter. Sophie, standing on the palm of the BFG's hand, was watching horror struck. Do something, he, she cried. Quick, before he eats him. Put that human being down, the BFG shouted. The flesh alarm beater turned and stared at the BFG. What is you doing here with all these grotty twiglets? He bellowed. You was making me very suspicious. The BFG made a rush at the flesh lamp beater, but the colossal 54 foot high giant simply simply knocked him over with a flake of his right arm. At the same time, Sophie fell off the BFG's palm onto the ground. Her mind was racing. She must do something. She must. She must. She remembered the spear here. Safari brooch the queen had pined onto her chest. Quickly, she undid it. <clears throat> I is guzzling you nice and slow. The Ashlam Beater was saying to the soldier in his hand, Then I is guzzling ten or twenty more of you, Midgey Will Maggots, down there. <clears throat> you is not getting away from me because I is galloping fifty times faster than you. Sophie ran up. Behind the flesh lamp beater, she was holding the brooch between her fingers. Wait. 
fingers when she was holding a brush between her fingers. When she was right up close to the great neat hairy legs, she rammed the three inch long pin of the bridge as hard as she could into the flesh lamp beater's right ankle. It went deep into the flesh, flesh and stayed there.